It's live, loves New York week. And what a better way to share my love of this wonderful city with you than to hit the streets so you can see for yourself. I've been wanting to show you a couple of places that are both close to home and, well, close to my heart. Let's go. Hey, starting off with a bang. Believe it or not, one of my favorite places in New York is right here in our studio at 67th and Columbus. We've got Central Park down there. We've got Hudson River right down there. There you go, Mark. All right. Coffee guys over there. Thanks, guys. So many great memories right here in the studio. And speaker of memories, let's take a little walk down memory lane right down to the river. Let's go. 320 West 66th Street is where it all began. It's getting ready to do its thing, so why don't you take your ringside seat? This is where I started my career on all my children. This is where I met my wife. And right there, in that window, I was here going over my lines for a screen test. My wife walks in right there with big rollers in her head, and she introduced herself, and she said, run run as far as you can because this is what they do to you and she had a big run. But this is where I met my wife in this room. This building holds so much meaning for me. None of these buildings this way were there. Some things do change. Um, some things stay the same and for good reason. Here we are, one of my favorite meals on the Upper West Side. Uh, a restaurant called Pomodoro. The soup and the bread. Look at that. You eat the soup and the bread. Try to see if it's still just as good. Oh. Can we just get better than this? You know, it wasn't just about the meals here that we would have during the lunchtime and all my children. But it was about the table. I mean, this is Art Moore's special table. <laughs> I'm reading something that I should <laughs> <laughs> It was also about having lunch here and then our walk home. To here, 200 West 60th Street, our first apartment together. Let's go inside. Man, a little different. We had a wall here, it was like a galley kitchen. It's nice and open. This was our bedroom. Now we had this apartment when Kelly was, when we were first married, and Kelly was pregnant with Michael. A little known thing is that I put in washer and dryer here. They had to shut down the building so I could do it. And they kept it. They thought it was a good idea. <laughs> Look at that. It was nice back then, but this has obviously all been updated. The key to this apartment was the outdoor space. Wow. Just like I remember it. And I put a satellite dish. There it is. Oh my gosh. I did that. I did that. It's still here 25 years later. It's still there. How wild is that? Southwest exposure. Now let me take you to a very special part of the apartment. Wow, this is Michael's first room. I wonder if we, like, got down to the bare, bare the walls in here could still be some of the water animals. I think he had like, you know, octopuses and stuff like that. <sighs> Such great memories here. All right, one last very important stop. My favorite place to sit, obviously, is in the seat next to Kelly every morning, but my second favorite place is a bench in New York City where my wife dedicated this one to me for my birthday. So I've got my own park bench. I love this park, I love my bench, and I love the city. And after exploring some of it with me, I hope you do too. Brings back so many memories. So many memories. Oh my gosh.